people around here know a thing or two about a tight contest. Bashir has 709,345 votes. Bevan had 704,012 votes. That goes down to the wire. Wah! That includes Emma here for a couple of reasons. Shot by shot during big matchups. Hey, Ryan driving. And low key practice in jeans and sandals. Don't get any misses. She's risen to the top of this game. And she's leaned on it when people who were supposed to be showing her the way as a young girl were not. There was a lot of addiction. I never really had like a structure. Life often feeling like a defending rival who wouldn't let up. But I was jumping households a lot. I was on a third grade reading level, I believe, when I first got to high school. Really? A woman she met there. She still got in the place. Change everything. I call her JC Coleman. She has all kinds of names. <laughs> Kentuckians now call her the Lieutenant Governor. It began because I was her coach. In central Kentucky, long before she became the Commonwealth's second in command. Jacqueline Coleman had been working with kids long enough to know someone stepping into Emma's life could make a world of difference. That cycle of addiction and that cycle of poverty so easily repeats itself until you find a way to break it. They did together. Emma moved in freshman year, started getting the homework help she needed while honing those skills on the court. Then sophomore year, a turning point. I kind of wanted to do better and understood like, oh, I could go to college and I could do these things and I could do this. She did do it. Texas A&M Corpus Christi wanted her on the team. <laughs> Success would soon follow. We were really good and we knew we were really good. They were going to go to the NCAA tournament. But that was in the spring of 2020. And they just canceled it all. They were like, well, sorry. And we were all like, what? She still got a ring. And that's not the only reason Emma felt like a winner. A couple of months before, around Christmas time, the bond Emma formed with Coleman and her husband became official in this Kentucky courtroom. So I'm like, oh, wow, but yeah, that's my mom. Like, isn't that cool? Like, and everyone's like, yeah. Emma Coleman O'Brien. That would usually be the happy ending to a story like this. Not hers. I think with every bout of success she experienced, it made her want to work harder. She's going pro. Congratulations. Thank you. Moving to Albania to start playing ball in just weeks. So I'm excited to get over there and kind of just see if I can play with these girls and see like what kind of player I can become after this. And if how far she's come is any indication. I'm proud of the stuff I've done, but I can't wait to see like what's next. It won't be long until the WNBA is calling. In Frankfurt, Chris Suter, WDRB News.